Hi, I wanted to put together a video in regards to our wax and our wax pots. So for anyone that's currently doing the courses, you will have been sent our new Brilliance Wax, the white wax, super creamy, smells like coconut, it's amazing. For anyone that's previously done our courses, this is the wax that we used to send out. Still a really good wax, um, but we're just finding better results with this one, we just prefer this one. But our training videos are using this wax. Our notes are on this wax, and I'm just finding, just moving over, some people are getting a little bit stuck. So I wanted to run through it, I wanted to give you something to look at, so you could see what the consistency should look at, and all those look like, and all those sort of things. I think this is a great opportunity to talk about waxing within the industry, because this pot's amazing. It's, you know, you've got your temperature gauge, the temperature gauge and everything like that. It's quite a small pot, so you don't have to worry about filling too much in. So I'm getting lots of people ask about what the temperature should be at. In our training, it's 95, on this pot, which is Fahrenheit, it's 95 to 105. But it, when watching the submissions, it's too hard to work with at that temperature. With wax in general, it's important that you understand wax. You understand how it should look, how it should feel. Almost ignore the temperature gauge because you might walk in for a job interview and they've got a different pot or a different wax. They might ask you to do a trade test and you've just got to know what a hard or a hot wax should look like. So I think this is a great opportunity to learn that whilst we do sort of the changeover. So I'm going to show you the consistency now um, and run through what this wax should look like. Gloves on first. I obviously won't put one on one hand because I'm going to apply wax here, so I'm not using this hand for anything, but you should be wearing gloves. You have to remember that you're doing a really intense form of exfoliation on the skin. You're pulling the hair out from the hair follicle. Hygiene's massive and you have to wear gloves. My tip would to get a tight glove so it acts like a second skin. It's not flacking about when you're twisting spatulas or, or trying to get the wax off. Okay, so you've got two types of spatulas. You've got your large spatula for chin and sides. And then you've got your thinner spatula for the smaller areas. So eyebrows, lip, nostril. Okay, so I'm gonna use a thick spatula for this. So when you put the spatula in the wax pot, you don't, the wax should be moving. If it's not moving, it's too cold. You can always get wax just from the outer edge of the pot. Um, but if you put it on for the right amount of time, it's all heated through, it will all be the one temperature. Um, you don't want it to be too runny too. If you can't hold it on the spatula, it's too hot. But you'll be able to pick that because you should always be testing the wax on yourself first. Okay, so getting some of the wax. So you can see it still has that honey consistency, but it's staying on the wax. on an angle and back so for all the students that I'm getting back to you saying I want a nice solid thick edge around the whole of the wax because you might not be flicking up from it but if you scraped it and there's only a little bit like that you're gonna leave that behind so you want a nice solid edge around the whole of the wax you don't need to press it too many times, just when you think that it's going to be dry, flick up and remove. If there is areas like this, that's when you can go in with your wax and pull it off. But that's gonna be uncomfortable for your client, so try to avoid that, the nice solid edge. 